Um, we're sitting in a circle because it's, uh, I've been running this uh, directory since um, uh, by, by myself for a few years. It's been around since 2004. But you know, it just feels like it has so much more potential than I'm able to put in as an individual. But also, I'm sure everybody else has many interesting ideas or I, you know, things that they wish they would, that would happen in the blogging community locally that the site could support. People would like to maybe be involved in running and making it happen. And so I thought we could have a session where we all just kind of sit and chat and talk about uh, um, the community of blogging that is in Pittsburgh, such as we are, um, or just the people that are blogging in Pittsburgh, and how we could work together more, and how this, how whatever the site is, like right now it's a WordPress site, the Active Directory. I'll give a little tour for anyone who comes to the few people who don't know what it is. I'll give a little tour about what it does, and I'll tell you some things I had some ideas I have, but only after you tell me some things that you wish the world offered to you. How about that? So far, so good. Let's um, let's let's now you know about me. Uh, oh, I build websites for them. That's what I do. And coach people uh, about how to use the web for business and other stuff. So let's all other people talk about what they do and why they chose to come to this session. And, if you're, and it's okay to come to the session because you didn't like any of the other sessions. We won't tell them. We're being recorded, but you know. Okay, um, I'm Katie Conlon. I uh, introduced a blog for Edgar Snyder and Associates. And I've been a casual member of the, the Pittsburgh Bloggers Facebook group now and then. And I guess for us, sometimes from a PR standpoint, we like to connect with bloggers when we have an event coming up or um, you know, we just did our holiday coloring contest where we wanted some um, bloggers who write about family topics to judge the coloring contest entry. So we wanted to just connect with other bloggers in the community, um, I guess, to, to come alongside of what some of the stuff we're doing at the blog. Cool. I'm Amy Rosen, so I work with Katie at Pickler Schneider Associates. You know, we do the blog and the social media for them. And uh, yeah, I have to make like a content calendar every month always looking for Pittsburgh-oriented people. Cool. All right, good. I'm um, Jason Kozlowski. I am the founder of birdlife.com. Uh, we've been around actually four years, but typically have done events. So our biggest event is Bar Crawl in January. We have about 200 people at it um, on the south side. But we've had the blog before. It's kind of come and gone. <laughs> it's not very consistent. So. I just started a podcast about a month ago, and I wanted to kind of connect with more people in the Pittsburgh area, so I thought this was an interesting topic. Cool. I'm Joe Cuhill. I haven't started my blog yet, and I haven't started my podcast either. I did, however, start a Kickstarter, or I'm starting a Kickstarter in order to try to help fund it, and if that comes through, then And so I would suggest that you do the things in the other order because your blog can be really cheap. But we can talk about that later. <coughs> Kickstarter is now evaluated. You know, you get yeah. to submit it and they say whether it's legal or not. Or, so I've already done all this stuff. Oh, okay. But well, here, I could do what you should do. <coughs> Just I don't know how to do it. So, I mean, I so you know, fortunately, they, we did a couple talks this morning that had um, exactly what you needed to know. And they recorded them. So we'll get, make sure you get the links. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. I'm Thomas Waters. I uh, blog at thomasandwires.com, mostly about LGBT issues. And, uh, Just leave that door open. I'm interested in being here in the sense of how can local bloggers uh, support each other and uh, sort of research for one another and inspire each other and so on. Well, we're doing introductions. Um, we can circle back to you guys, or is you just locked in? Do you wanna, or do you want to introduce who you are and why you came here? Uh, my name's Sean Miller, and I really don't blog right now. I'm just kind of interested. <clears throat> Dave Testor, uh, operate Pittsburgh Freenet. There's a number of websites. Uh, there's some people this room. <laughs> Um, just thought I'd come up and see how he was here. Hi, I'm Mark Rodriguez. I live in the South Side. I coach swimming in the city and water polo with CMU now. 
I've been blogging since before the word blog was invented. But um, I'm also going to do a, a after the first of the year, so Kickstarter and Indiegogo, um, using technology with the kids in the city. Well, I'm uh, David D'Angelo of uh, Political Junkies, and uh, I was interested in just the kind of the architecture and the structure of the PG Bloggers website. Mm, okay. um, I'm Paul. I'm also known as Guru. Thank you. Cool. Blogging circles for a very, very long time ago. And I'm lovely here because I was in the room the first the, the, the bloggers fest. Yes, you were. Thing. So. Yeah, but all the all the old guy, old, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, all the old guys. Yeah, yeah. say it. <laughs> uh, 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 original, uh, classic. We have a lot of digital dust. Are going to be accurate um, because I don't really remember too too much that well. But but I wanted to see how it was going. Okay. Yeah, which which blog fest was it? Uh, the I don't think it was at the first one, I think it was at the second one. Oh, really? Okay. Well, so we started in November of 2004. Um, we started meeting to kind of talk about things in like, October or September, I think. And okay. then, Mike Wojciech went and built a website for us. And all of a sudden, we had a website. It was magical. Norm? I'm Norm Hilsman. Uh, I've been involved with Podcast since the beginning. And I always have a number of blog projects, I suppose. So I'm always just interested in the community and what things are happening. I'm sure I have blogs on Pittsburgh Bloggers that are dead now. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, Michael, uh, and uh, I author the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic uh, web blog. Uh, it's been going on for 12 years now. And uh, I also do a, a YouTube. Uh, series called the Michael Fedor Show, like that, just topical, like just when you turn on camera and talk about you know, whatever's on the mind, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm doing one now as a blog, and I've got a two-day experience here as well. So. Oh, cool. And so, so what would we hope to get more part of this section? I'm networking, mm -hmm. like that, just kind of being other people. Cool. Talking back out of the internet for some reason, but let me show you around Pittsburgh bloggers after I So what? I, so Pittsburgh bloggers. It used to be when when there weren't that many blogs. Because when we started back in 2004, there there were enough blogs that you couldn't fit them all in one sidebar of a of a blog. So, um, and also it was sort of you know you didn't always want to you know we want to promote everybody else, but maybe you didn't want to list every other blog that existed in on your blog. Just we didn't like that one guy. So. Um, so we wanted to have something where we could get to know each other and all the people that were sort of starting to blog, you know, get to talk with the other people who had the same kind of concerns or maybe we liked what, you know, we liked how they sounded in writing, what were they like that in real life. Um, and the directory also was kind of cool at that time because there were few enough of this that the website could pull um, the feeds from all the blogs and make one big Mondo blog, Mondo feed. And so you could kind of read the Pittsburgh Bloggers website and know what everybody was blogging about. But um, after only a couple of years, that became impossible because hosting was too expensive to make that happen. Maybe it could happen again, I don't know, but it was just too much work. So after everybody else who was a founder of the company moved on to their other things, I decided to just pull it into WordPress and literally just have it be a directory as a way for people to find other blogs, so to, to network and kind of connect. And so what I chose to do, I, I mean, Pittsburgh Bloggers has um, directory listings for uh, everybody that chooses to ask to be listed here. Oops, we're not on. We really aren't on. It looks better than that. So these are, this is just an alphabetical listing, and I thought that that was not, so that's helpful to have, just to be able to find things by name. But what, I, what we had traditionally done before then on the older site was have, um, you can have categories that you wanted to be in. So I kept some of that same idea, and you can choose to be in up to six categories. But you can see that just one little me, I haven't done a very good job of policing the categories. So we have this um, sort of, Tide Cloud, Word Cloud, 
that could be a little bit better if we do a, a run through and process the site and sort of say, well, you know what, art and architecture, let's simplify that and sort of thought about the taxonomy a little bit. Even still, it kind of lets you know there's a lot more cooking sites than there are sites about exercise, for example, you know, kind of thing. Um, and then if you click any one of these, it will show you the sites that are using that as a category for them. And then if you click any one of these listings, you see, you see the blurb that the site owner has created. It automatically goes to the site and downloads a thumbnail of it. This is not the smartest piece of code, so it works, it caches them, and we'll use that better. Um, and then uh, I also store internally in the site, but I don't publicize it, a way to contact the site owner. So some of the older sites where we don't have that information, I don't have that information. But um, for the newer sites, I get either a pseudonym or a name, or if possible both, and I also have an email address. And when, a site, when someone submits a site, I go to check that it actually exists, that it's a blogish type thing and not, not, uh, not a blog. <laughs> Maybe not just a regular website. And I also have not so far um, necessarily listed um, uh, Pinterest accounts because you have to be a member and log into Pinterest, and I just felt like, well, that's not really a blog. And so I've been making a lot of arbitrary decisions on my own for things. And so what I'd like to do is get more people who are interested in the concept of this uh, and would like to be part of like an oversight committee, you know what I mean, and be involved. Um, but more than that, though, I feel like this site could do so much more. Because I get requests because it doesn't say it exists. People want either to have information about how to start a blog, or they want to know how do I reach all the bloggers in a certain topic area, or how do I promote an event. Um, and so there's stuff there that just, you know, like it feels like there's stuff that wants to be promoted. People want to know how to reach out to bloggers. Bloggers want to know how to make, you know, connections with businesses or nonprofits or whatever. And I'd like there to be more of that. Um, so, so those are those are things and thoughts. Um, so it sounds like it, it, as we went around, and I don't really have a massive plan for this for this today. But it sounds as though we can find a marker. There were some things that people talked about that they would like. Um, so starting back around here, the things that you were you would like to do more um, with the blog. Yeah, I guess along the blog opportunities like PR or give us an example of another of one. Um, a couple years ago, we did like a drunk driving prevention thing. So we sent we sent a, lot, um, a bunch of bloggers a kit with all of these mocktail ingredients, and we asked them to make a mocktail and to suggest their own mocktail. Oh, cool. So we targeted food bloggers with that campaign. I would call that blogger outreach. Yeah. Does that seem like a good thing? Okay. So blogger outreach. Anyone else have stuff like that that they're trying to do? Or they want to be reached out to. And what kind of things would so what kind of things would you like people to be reaching out to? You? Um, well, I'm recruiting some bloggers to help with the fundraising for a local nonprofit, and um, there's not really a streamlined way to do that. Okay. And then over here, I'm sorry, I don't have my list of names. Jason. Yep. Sorry. What would be the things that you want? Over, overall, sorry. Um, I mean, engagement. I was looking for more engagement with the Pittsburgh community because it is dark life, so it should be about Pittsburgh. And so when you say, talk to me more about that, what do you mean by engagement? I mean, so with this podcast, I'm having my first guest in a few weeks, and I'm excited about that, but I would open it up to any and all types of guests to kind of talk. It's kind of a lighter type talk show format, so... I um, only have published two podcasts right now, and I need to come to this to understand how to do it. So the idea there is like how how a blogger, so this is stuff coming from, from, from the outside world to bloggers, and then you're thinking like how do I get more, in your case, listeners, or how do people get more readers, how do I get the word out, so publicity. Yeah, and engagement, so, you know, people in the room might. Well, so part of that too, that so there's engagement and then sort of publicity, but then sort of this idea then of um, sort of a you know blogger knowledge exchange. Like, how can I learn? Like, uh, carrying this idea of PodCamp on you know, beyond today. So you sort of blogger uh, knowledge. 
How do I connect with other bloggers? Yes? Yeah, he also mentioned something about being Pittsburgh. Yeah, okay, so sort of local focus. Cool. What else did he say that I didn't quite hear? <laughs> Just go of face to face. Uh huh, okay. such a pain to organize them. But yes, yes they were was. good. Yes. And people would sometimes be there and sometimes not. Sometimes it was sort of sad when there were like five of us there. We would have, so what he's talking about is we would, what, every other month? I think it was three months. It was four a year. So it was an awkward time. I, I loved them. And, and this was just me. That was a terrible location. Just logistically getting to and park. Like, I just hate that would be a big part of why I could like. Oh, good. Okay. Well, so well, that's just my feedback, and and I would be happy to host meetups um, at my office right now. So okay. if we need a location and beer, I've got that covered. Okay. But the, so the, I, and again, just to offer that, so for the people who don't know what we're talking about, we would have what we call blog fests. We had them. We see. We think every three months, um, and we had them over on the north side at a, at a bar that is now closed. And we had it at that bar because they had an honest room. But so we would just go, and everyone would pay for their own beer, and it was just a chance to all kind of be there for me to give name tags out, and um, and for us all to kind of say hi, how you doing, and not really talk about blogging at all, frankly, right? It was just sort of to be community, kind of like today. Um, and I think we would talk about some stuff that was blog oriented, and then a lot of times we would just drink beer and eat. Um, it was good times. So for those who are coming late, we're brainstorming ideas for what would bloggers in Pittsburgh like to, uh, how would we like to connect with each other? How would businesses like to connect with bloggers? So far, stop kicking me out. Oh, no, that is a real thing. Oh, this is good. Okay, so what I had thought, this is valuable. Um, what I thought was, what if we had a, what if we had like a forum? Not a wiki, because those are kind of hard to edit, but what if we had like a traditional sort of threaded forum with with topic areas for things, and so you can see the ones that we started out with. Uh, marketing events. So if someone has, someone wants to reach out to bloggers, you could post your event here, and I don't have to police it, you know what I mean? Maybe it could be self-policing or something. People could publicize, this is an event we have, this is a giveaway we're doing, or whatever. And then you could write about it, and people could respond to you directly. And it doesn't need to be sort of navigated. Uh, show and tell was, hey, I have started a new podcast, or I am uh, running a Kickstarter, and here's what I'm doing. And you could just tell that. And people wanted to know what's, what are new people doing. They would come here, and if they didn't, they, they would do other stuff. And then how to and help, um, which is what it sounds like. Again, how do I start this? Because a lot of the questions that I get at the site are, how do I start a blog? And it just feels like, boy, let me Google that for you. But on the other hand, people really don't know, I guess. And so, and because they don't feel like they know how to find stuff. And so maybe a resource where people could answer each other's questions. Sometimes the question just needs to be asked and answered again, and that's okay. And then finally, just sort of open. You know, I want to talk about something, and I, for some reason, I don't want to blog about it. So this forum. Yeah, those things have got to be rare, right? You know, that I want to rant, that I want to rant on your blog, but not mine? I think people, I, I, you know what I had this was so that if a topic came up here that didn't belong here, I could just shove it over there. All right. You know so I mean? that's a go show. And you know what, if, and you know, no, it's more like you're off topic. But if you're off topic, you can be off topic. Oh, sure. There. Right. Yeah. Um, but also, I just, maybe I'm just sort of, you know, I'm too loosey or something. I'm what? Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. I mean, I don't, say, I don't really, yeah. anyway, that was the idea. Well, what about a calendar? That's sort well, of tell a, me about what the calendar would have. Well, anything that anybody puts in it. Um, you know, it could have Penguin Games light on nights. You could have public forums on things. You could have ethics re review board meetings. You could have, um, you know, gatherings <laughs> of. Well, I guess the one, like, Whole thing, the idea, so it feels like there's a lot of calendars that are there, and I don't necessarily want to compete with what, what is already being done. Who is the best calendar? I don't know. I call Google itself the best calendar, right? Just what's going on tonight, you know? The, cal the calendar thing, nobody has solved. It is a royal 
pain right. to ma to moderate a calendar to maintain it because if you let it open and let it be com sort of done by an algorithm it's filled with crap do you ever look at the post gazette calendar no the only thing that works in terms of calendars if they're human curated and it is a real pain to curate calendar events so i'm not opposed to having like a calendar but i just don't think it'll get used unless it really or it has, has quality content and it's i think it's a matter of who's <clears throat> going to maintain it i mean i have tried every possible calendar tool out there I do have a submission on iHeart Pittsburgh. We could create a bloggers category on it if we want. It's a WordPress plugin. You can use it. If you... But I just think you can sit here. And, we can sit here and say calendar, but the talking about it and the realities of putting together a calendar and almost every other events website in Pittsburgh that was started that was good closed after a year. Like Switchboard sure. Pittsburgh was great. No, like it's nobody, and this isn't even a Pittsburgh problem. Like no startup has figured out how to solve. The thing, the one, the one overriding principle too that I have, and I think it's kind of, if you're going to have a rule or a curation of some sort, like the only rule I've got for Pittsburgh bloggers is you have to be, by some definition, a blog or blog oriented or promoting blogs. Like otherwise, what's the point of us being here? You know, what I mean, if we just want to promote any website, then that's hard. You know. Yeah. Well, I definitely raise the point of a calendar because I agree. You know, with everything she just said, it's, it is going to take some masterminds to fix it, and there isn't the great Pittsburgh calendar on the web. Yep. And it's going to take people like us to fix it. Well, OK. So that's a possibility. I'm, so I put it here. And, and we can talk about prioritizing and things, too. And so we had this hand and then that hand. I, what about like a subject matter expert for this state? And that way, you can bring in people who might not have blogs, but might be <coughs> experts in whatever. You know, I'm the director. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure, again, people in this room, people who do have blogs can be on that list, but if I'm doing a show on Pittsburgh Ease, you know, I kind of had to figure out who is that person who does all the linguistic studies, and I found her, but if I have a listing where I can go and people say, I'm, I'm an expert on this subject, I can go right to them and contact them, I think that would be huge for me. The kind of, we do get questions into Pittsburgh bloggers a lot. People say, I'd love to contact all the mommy blogs. Like, I don't know who they are. Yeah. You know, your best bet is to do this, use the self-categorization. So there's a certain amount of this curation problem, but if we had enough people that were interested and engaged, we could maybe solve that problem. It's a thought. It's something to explore. Great. Okay. I'm sorry. So I, I'm coming at this from the outside in, and I don't know if we want to go there yet. Let's find out. But a lot <coughs> of this stuff would be excellent for discovery. Um, like one of the big problems is that I run into now is that I have no one. And this is really helpful, um, but it's it's I, I, I wouldn't ask it to be complete. Okay. And so as a, as a sort of a launching point, or someone who's trying to find things, you know, it's like a starting point for searching and discovery. Is that what you're saying? I would like to find out about food blogs in Pittsburgh. Okay. Like in the okay. All of these are useful. Um, having an event thing is useful, uh, particularly if, if the events are somehow tagged. I don't know if the form software supports that. Having the blogs themselves. Like, Metadata or any content is brilliant. Um, show and tell is excellent because then people can lose signal as they need to. Um, but the yeah, having having multiple pathways into this so that different people who have different goals come to find the specific things or the general idea. Like all of this stuff is useful. That's good. Cool. And a calendar would be too, except I think I completely agree. Calendars are terrible. They're so hard. And and one way to do that maybe is to is to do something like in the show and tell, make it very, very easy for people who post there, either through I don't know, iCal, attachments and whatnot, to allow people to get their stuff very, very easily into people's personal calendars. That seems mm -hmm. to work out reasonably well. Can you say that in a short in shorter words? Um, have a button. Click the button. A button that does what? That that um, generates a calendar object rather okay. than the person's the person's personal calendar. Okay. Button to um, put events in your <coughs> event in your calendar. I knew there were words. I don't have either. So your sessions better that there. Is there a meetup associated with 
Pittsburgh bloggers? We um, did the Pittsburgh bloggers things before Meetup existed, or like right around when Meetup started. And so we never really used it. Um, we certainly could use it. And so those are, so I wish I had another color. Uh, here, I have another color. So some I ideas would be like. I say this, because although you mentioned you made a joke about well, Google, <coughs> I learned more yesterday at IKEA in, in two minutes talking to Norm than I would within in two hours trying to figure it out on yeah. Google. So, you know, I think the, the workshopping or the, the brainstorming or troubleshooting of a group, even over beers and everything, is so much more efficient. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I, I miss it too. Yeah. Okay, so that, I think our one takeaway so far is we have to make the blog fests come back to one way or another. Right? You guys will all come to the first one. Yeah. Well, it's Lindsay's buying the beer, so we'll yeah. <laughs> and we didn't write her address down yet. No, well, I, can actually, uh, I work at Sea Leveled, and we can host a blogger meetup at Sea Leveled, and we do have a keg and a tap in the middle of the office. So, so, so beer is on us. Can't yeah. promise food. If you go now, we could call this the first one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need some lead time, oh. but I, I'm happy to host the first one. Thanks, Lindsay. Now, I want to say that for me, going to some of those really intimidating because to think about, I'm just not a very social bar person. So if I go to a meetup that I know is about a topic and we're going to have some beer in addition, I can deal with that. If I'm going to go to a bar to meet a bunch of people, I'm likely to stay home. Okay, so with that sort of, so what we did not really do, we did try one time to have, and we have no, we were, or, um, when we were leaving here talking to that other guy, we had these, we once or twice tried to have sort of working sessions, I forget what they were, kind of a thing where, hey, let's come to this library that has Wi-Fi, <coughs> bring your laptop, and then if you have questions, like you can't figure out how to do this one thing on your blog, uh, we'll just be very hands-on, you know, it was sort of like that. We never really did lectures or stuff like this, but, but so I think what you're suggesting is maybe in addition to sort of the just purely social, yeah. There could be also more sort yeah. of how-to-ish, or what would be a good word for mm -hmm. troubleshooting? Yeah. Well, no, that would be the blog fest, and then the meetup group could be the beer part. But I think we would use meetup for both, well, I sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. um, but so, um, sort of like a working session, or what? Yeah, somebody told me a name that I can't think of it now. But so, a working sessions. Okay. Or, or workshop. Working. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so I go to a users group meeting for uh, a database, and yeah. you know that there's a topic. And you're going to spend at least X amount of time kind of talking about that topic, and then the rest of the time is going to be social. Yeah, it's much more efficient. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's an interesting idea. And, and maybe more useful, you know, as now that there's more of us. You know what I mean? When I say us, of the blogging world. Maybe like a refresh Pittsburgh format. Mm -hmm. Where there's a lecture and then a. Uh, refresh. Refresh Pittsburgh, for those who don't know, is uh, well, more, well, it's it's more of a developer group. Like they talk, it's a pretty broad subject, but it's more for web developers and marketing people. And they have a uh, two 20, 15, 20 minute talks by different people each month, and then afterwards there's social time, and they usually go to a nearby bar. And that's in um, right now they have their meetings at Smith Brothers Agency. Just the background, how many blogs are now attached to Pittsburgh bloggers? 900 or so. How, how many? 900 or so. Wow. Now, are they all real? No. Because one thing that would, but, but it's probably not that many less than this. Um, and that's just the people who know about Pittsburgh bloggers. I mean, because like, you guys came to the session and didn't even know. I think that's amazing. So here we are. So this is a WordPress site. And oh, David, you wanted to know how I instructed it. It. So basically, I created um, in the here a custom post type. So it's like posts or pages, but it's blog listings. And so there's some special fields that I built in there. It's not hard to do uh, if you know how. And um, so these blog listings, they look just like blog posts as far as WordPress is concerned. But then I can sort and categorize and stuff based on that. Is it going anywhere? Is it just And what I did is I have a form that goes straight into the whole WordPress innards 
And so when you type in the subject on the form to submit your blog listing and the description and everything, like I don't need to copy paste, copy paste, it just becomes a blog. It becomes a blog listing post. What, what, well, the way one thing that occurs to me for this is having a category for media, a tagged category for media, might be very, very useful. There's a lot more now than there used to be. Tell me what you mean, like. Well, so someone who has a YouTube channel or a podcast, an audio podcast or a video podcast. So this brings up the question. So, like, do, do we want? Stop. Do we want to be responsible? Because, like, I've made we made the decision at the very, very first iteration of Pittsburgh Bloggers to not do live journal sites. Right. Because there were so, frankly, because there were so many, we felt like screwed up. Um, it was just too much trouble. But so now, like, is a Twitter account a blog? In a way, it's a tiny little wee blog. Uh, how about a Tumblr account? How about a Facebook group? You know, so there do need to be sort of some distinctions. And so there are some ways where I would say, well, a YouTube channel is not a blog, but the um, uh, blog associated with a podcast, that's a blog. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, so, that, so here's the other thing is that I feel like I need, I would love to have more people helping me make those decisions because I'm making them arbitrary right now and maybe I'm in a bad mood. I had, you know, I didn't eat enough dinner last night or whatever. Um, and I'm making bad decisions. So those are questions to have. Let's break that up here. So we want to um, think about media, categorizations, and So in, in another area that we haven't really touched on or done like the history of is, is like a cause in a sense of um, it maybe it's under the localized. You know, there's city camps where people gather and um, they try to solve problems, whether it's, you know, bus routes or youth violence or whatever comes out of it. And a lot of times, the, you know, the techie people will just go into a neighborhood or to a demographic area and and then all, you know, instantly, you know, converge on something, a crowdsource um, yes. battle. So um, I like a lot of what we're doing is sort of helping ourselves, you know, better sharpen our skills, but we're not doing the, um, the so missionary so services. I'm going to call that sort of community, uh, it's sort of engagement. It's kind of like, um, yeah. Fixing, like, yeah, almost. Yeah. Community causes, um, you know, uh, turning our efforts to good. Like, I know, like Stephen Cliff in um, Minnesota's, you know, help organizing. And there's going to be city camps you know, all around the country. People get together. It's an unconference. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're doing them on um, cloud computing. You know, an unconference on the cloud. Just come, go. Um, who knows what's happening? Mm -hmm. So if you don't know what's happening, you can go and show up and find out more. Um, so. But, but maybe a little more um, localized. Um. Yeah, um, so talking about it maybe, again, and decisions could be like, are we going to do a large thing or a small thing? It's kind of like, you know, are we going to be blog focused or Pittsburgh focused? Right. Okay, so we have currently 1,060 blog listings published. Wow. Good for you. <coughs> have you ever met with person? No. Is that person here? Is that person here? I had a really long time Oh, I know. They just submitted that. It's a very fun. It's a very unusual blog. So what I do, like I said, my my the rule, the arbitrary rules I made up are you have to have at least three blog posts post across at least five days. So someone can't like start a blog, write three blog posts, and then submit the stuff. Now, literally, they can back day day. I'm not going to be able to check. But at least they've made the effort to look blogish. Those are my arbitrary rules to bring up for being a blog. Um, but what I find is that a lot of, I'm always amazed that so many people are submitting these new blogs, new to me blogs, that have been here for years and years and years. And I, you know, they, they just only found out about Pittsburgh bloggers recently. It's really always fascinating. But so that's what this guy here, this person, James McGrugin, that, that is a heck of a blog. That one, he's been going along. So it seems like one of the, one of the uh, goals for this discussion is set up uh, some criteria for the structure of how you put a structure on the 1,066 blocks. Well, in the 20 minutes uh, remaining, my thought was to get people excited uh, to sign up on a list that I'm going to make to say, uh, you know what, I want to talk about this more and be involved. And then uh, I'm trying to put together, I'm trying to find who, 
Please come help me. <laughs> but so you have this. ideas too, so we're ready I do. To well, I'm, I'm giving you my, my starting ideas. I'm just trying to like plant ideas. As, this is what's needed. And if you think this sounds interesting, or you, then then si sign up to be part of discussing more about this. Because I don't think we can fix it in 15 minutes. Yeah, no. Um, but then if you don't really want to get involved, but you do want to know what's on, maybe we'll have a second list just sort of, hey, I'm curious. Um, and then when we launch, you know, maybe the next iteration of this, you know, just sort of stay tuned in and maybe you'll think it's exciting. Yes, so far? Okay. I was volunteering, that's why I knew. I saw, I know, <laughs> it's exciting. Um, okay, so what we've got here, so what I'm seeing is we've got a bunch of different things. So part of my I thought, and I'm so sorry that this is not useful here, but um, part of my thought is to take these topic areas and then among the first things this new working group will do is sort of talk about what do these mean, what are priorities based on you know, what, what we think about the community, what we're personally interested in, and how can we go about doing them, and what other resources should we be pulling in, who else do we know that would be interested in doing this, or wouldn't be interested if we can twist their arm, or whatever. Another kind of a rule that we've had since the beginning of it's for bloggers, that we could keep or throw away is that we accept no sponsorships, so we don't take money. So that's kind of useful because then we can always turn things away, which is nice. You know, we're very free. It doesn't cost, you know, I have hosting already, so this doesn't cost anything to run, it just costs time. Um, yeah, time, sorry, time is money. Um, time is money. Is there anything wrong with, I mean, as long as in the community, it's a very communitarian thing, but would anybody object to the post? Is that throwing you a few shekels? I don't know. Which time? post is that throwing as shekels? As 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 shekels. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, okay, you know, I don't know. But I think it's a question. Yeah. What about something on Kickstarter? I think it's a question. I'm going to write that down, down before you go ahead. Something that was crowdfunded on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something, but that you had some resources available. This seems like the kind of thing that's sort of tailor made for that sort of initiative. I mean, I'm happy to ask the post that for some shekels, but, you know. Well, they might actually literally give you shekels or right? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like the Kickstarter idea. Yeah, okay. This an awful lot of people are doing an awful lot of work for free. And you know, and like you said, and not only the time is money, but time has value. Just because it doesn't cost money doesn't mean it doesn't have cost, right? But this costs your time. This costs your yes. you know, your and your sanity time, a lot of time yeah. for sure. So so I mean I think the, it's it's good to, to make sure that time has value and because it's, it's free doesn't mean that it's free. Well, let's be honest. I mean, part of why I keep doing this is, you know, for me and my role in the world, uh, which is, you know, building websites and things, this gives me some credibility, not just to say I helped fund, you know, found it, but I'm still the one running it, you know, and there's still have some involvement in it. So it's not like I'm doing it. There are, I get benefits from, from it. They're really hard to measure. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it would be more exciting and interesting to have more people involved. It just would be more fun. It would be... Uh, probably smarter, it would be more useful, and we could get beyond my thinking to other people's thinking that would be bigger than I could ever do on my own. Is, it, is there any way to feature like a blog of the week or a blogger of the week? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. So featuring. So that actually was one of, oh, I'm not even going to look at this anymore. Um, that was one of, in that forum, that was part of the idea was to maybe rotate through features or, you know, find, ran, randomly select stuff up. But that's, a, I like that. On the other hand, with 1,060 blogs, if you're doing a blog of the week, it'll take, what, 20, blog of the, blog of the hour? 20 years <laughs> to get through all of them. Well, so the problem that, that not all those bloggers are blogging yeah. currently, one thing I might suggest is to consider a framework for this group similar to, like, the food co-op, where you have a group of people who agree they volunteer of sorts to do something, and if there were specific tasks that needed to happen on a weekly basis, you could lay out a calendar. So picking a blog to, to feature in the week, well, on the first week of the month, these three people each go over recent blog posts and make a selection. Uh, and then on certain days, certain people are looking through the list of blogs to find out blogs that that don't exist they anymore. They randomly have them show them, here's five blogs, which of these are dead, yeah, yeah. delete those. Even and if we just did that in small chunks, over time it would have a nice... Yeah, and you could have a rating system, you could, uh, you could uh, pick five and then 
throw that up on Facebook as a post, or Ricky's five, and the one that wins yeah. gets featured. C couldn't you automate something to check if something hasn't posted in X number of months or whatever? I think you should be able to do that, and I have not. So what we don't have for each of these sites is their feed. And technically, you don't have to have a feed to be considered a blog in the world, you know what I mean? Not everybody ha has RSS. I mean, pretty much everybody does not because nobody builds a site from scratch. But so we would want to have a way to get around that. But we'd have to, more importantly, we'd have to go back through all 1,060 sites and get feeds for all of them. So that would be a project. It would be an interesting project. And so maybe uh, so <laughs> ratings or curation or automation or some combination of those. Okay, cool. Every problem can be solved, right? Or, or you can just post it somewhere. Each blogger to submit their. Yeah, so that would be the thing. So more somehow sort of self, uh, so self updating. In the sense that you know you can claim a blog that we already have on there. I thought about doing that, but it just felt scary. Yeah. Or making a new Pittsburgh bloggers and inviting everyone in the old one. Say, well, we're moving to this new uh, space, so just sign up again and all of your stuff will be moved and the people after six months who don't you can just assume that they that's like, that's you know are right. or uh forced move <laughs> yeah and now you're back oh now you're gone now you're gone again so do you I have do you have a, a name a email of course a title of a ball and a url but do you have a phone number do you have everybody's email no nope. I don't have everybody's email, because the stuff that came over from the original site, all I have was a name, a URL, and a description, and maybe some tags. How, how many of those came from the original site that you don't have the contact with? I don't know that, that number. Oh. I would guess it's uh, over 400. And have, occasionally you do email everybody? No. So I you didn't email everybody about this, then? No, no. I'm amazed any of you are here. <laughs> Going back to, to monetizing, is there a possibility, way to do a two-tiered system where you have a free and a membership? Where, you know, the free listing is, hey, these are the blogs that are there. You can take this listing and go to Google and find out where they are. Okay, so If you want a direct link, help us keep this project going by becoming a member. Sure. That's tricky though, right? Why would you, because until you've incentivized, why would they pay for it? Not that everyone doesn't have wonderful blogs, good content, but for someone who's just landing on the site, what would, would it incentivize them to actually pay? Maybe they get a special star that says this person cares about blogging. It could be more, it could be more sort of symbolic. It, it also could be, it also could be, do you mean I have to go to Google or I can just chip a dollar in here and I don't have to go anywhere else and I can go right to this blog. I'm always amazed at the number of people who sign up for VIP accounts because I'm not like you go to the same sessions, you maybe get a different color t-shirt. You know what I mean? So, so the, I, think there's, I think it's worth talking about in the work. Yes, and you know like TripAdvisor is an example of, you don't get anything when you rate a hotel on TripAdvisor, but you get after a certain number of reviews, you get a bag, and then you get yeah. a bag. And then it, that's, a, that's the crowdsourcing kind of yeah. Idea, right? And maybe they some of that could help with some of the curation and stuff too. Like if you, or like Wikipedia, you know, the more, if you go in and edit a couple things on Wikipedia, then they promote you to a higher level, you have more controls. And maybe, so. maybe to be eligible to be blog of the month, you have to be. <laughs> well, yeah, so our star of contributor of the month, so, so just sort of a thank you for yeah. being a cool person. Kind of thing. Do you want to know the reason why there's so many VIPs for this meeting? I do want to know why. It was only $25. Yes. Well, so, and so it's, it's that, basically people yeah. that have gotten value from Pod Camp in the past, and you say, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Why so still, it's only twenty, but still twenty dollars, five dollars. You're choosing to spend, and so yeah. you're doing that because you like the concept of the of the thing, which yeah. I think fits in with what you're yeah. saying. Well, I, I have a couple of podcasts that I can get them for free, but they have a hey, sponsor and help us keep this going. I'll admit it, I'm greedy. I want to keep the podcast flowing, so I give them twenty five bucks a month. You greedily give away your money, which is very common. Well, awesome. I want I know, I know the, the content. Thing. I want them to keep low, making them. The number of the amount won't low enough. Yeah. We're just mm -hmm. it's just well, and it's like the Kickstarter thing. Like you have a, some tiers that are just sort of, 
you're, okay, thumbs up to you, here's 50 cents or whatever, or a dollar or whatever it is. And we don't even have to go through Kickstarter, we could probably... Bitcoin. Um, we, could, we could Bitcoin this whole thing. We're going to mine some money out of our... Um, okay, more ideas or things that you wish... Uh, uh, how about this? Those of you who wasn't, weren't sure what Pittsburgh Waters was, why, who came to the session and then we haven't talked about whatever you wish we talked about. <laughs> so, so the basic value of it, sorry, I'm not at all familiar with it. That's a okay. large uh, The basic value is kind of one, one resource for all of this. I don't know. <coughs> about, I mean, I think everyone can get different values from a, a website that is a community. It's a community site. And so it could, it could be doing a bunch of different things. And so what I'm learning is that some of the things that I, some of these are things that I thought about doing, and some of them I'm learning that I didn't ever think about doing. But, so the words here are all things that maybe this site could do, and, and people who are interested in making it go well, then can prioritize which of these are worth doing. And then as we do them, maybe more of the blogs in Pittsburgh will be like, oh, that's a cool group I wish I was doing more with them. Um, or some businesses. So some of the stuff, the blogger outreach stuff, um, those are the questions we get most on the site. People are like, oh, there's a listing of blogs. Well, how do I get those bloggers to write about my product or service? Maybe that's why you can monetize it. It's like yeah. the, the bloggers can opt in to some kind of email list, and then you like, mm -hmm. have a, um, you know, brands can pay to contact a list of a um, number of blogs under a certain category. So there's some stuff, and there's, there's so you lose a little bit of something by doing that, but maybe it's okay, or I don't know. Yeah, that could be interesting. Well, you, you could do that both ways. I mean, you could have the blogs listed that, say, the food blogs. And, yeah, I no, I want to go out and find all my own, own food. I don't really, and somebody else going, what, you mean they're going to contact me and I don't have to go find them? Well, hey, that's less work for me. Sign me up for that list. Mm -hmm. well, I know there are a lot of bloggers that they explicitly say on their blog, PR friendly, and they make it really easy for reach out to them. And some bloggers don't want to do that at all and they, you know, and they wish people would stop bothering them. So it'd be nice for for brands to be able to clearly know who is Who's PR friendly, friendly and who are not friendly. Hey. So that we could do it in the directory as well as having if we have a forum thing, people could say, I have an opportunity, just want you guys to know I don't know who to contact, but just take a look. And people will know to go by and, and check it out. But then other people could say, I just want a list of all of the PR friendly blogs in Pittsburgh. You can just search and then categorize, however, cross-categorize them, which I well, recently learned how to do this awesome plugin for it. So that's amazing. That's great. Cool. Good idea. There should be more cross-connections between Pittsburgh bloggers and PodCamp, for example. Um, because to be honest, I totally forgot that Pittsburgh bloggers was out there. And and it's, it, there's a lot of good resources. There's a lot of material here. So. Anything that helps keep all the, the community, because in some regards we're all the same people, right? Well, keeping us connected through these various things, Pittsburgh bloggers would be, um, it would make sense that, we're, that we help sponsor PodCamp, because in a sense we do, we're here, uh, but that isn't evident looking at the site. So making some of those connections more visible, I think. Sure. I would also think Pits, uh, this is Pittsburgh would be, uh, an entity that could be uh, there could be value to them at understanding that this resource is out there. Lindsay, I was just about to ask you to talk well, more. Talk about what? Um, I don't know if I want to be associated with Visit Pittsburgh. I mean, I, you know, I get I answer. I spend a lot of time personally taking people who come to Pittsburgh around and showing them around because Visit Pittsburgh does not do a very good job of it. Some of it. They show off what they want to show. Off. So I'm just counterpoint of like. I'm probably less interested, unless so, there's some. I think it's worthy in our when we get to the working group part to like we'll continue talking about this. But Lindsay, what I wanted to ask you though was, um, sure. so for those who um, don't already know about Lindsay <coughs> Becker, she she also has been doing stuff about like blog directories of local blogging and things. And are you seeing ways that this could relate more to that? Or? Oh yeah, this. Could, so I tried to build a startup called Blog Local, which I am still working on. It is online at bloglocal.net. Um, it's not very pretty. Um, I'm rebuilding it, 
um, and I'm happy to share the sort of demo site. Um, so I've tried for about three years. I brought it to Startup Weekend a couple of years ago, and um, I think this is a really important issue. I'm basically trying to build a Yelp around blogs instead of businesses, because I think finding local blogs is a challenge. This is not a Pittsburgh problem. This is a problem across the country and quite frankly across the globe. Um, and these are all questions I've asked and how to, f and how to figure it out. Um, I, I, my biggest hurdle is developers because I'm not a developer, but every person I talk to and explain it to thinks it's, it's an interesting idea and I, I'm sort of sitting here listening to hear. Um, so I definitely think it's sort of a resource problem. I mean, I wish I could spend all day every day solving this problem. Yeah, I wonder um, whether it wouldn't end up more in a Wikipedia-ish kind of it needs to be sort of crowdsourced or the solution yeah. that we're leaning toward, because because but only because we are an existent uh, community already. There's already enough of a of a thing. But I, I'm obsessed with how do we use blogging and social media to connect people offline. Yeah. And I think your comments about getting people together face to face is the best way to learn. And how how do these tools? I mean, social media is great, but I have to go to one more bar and watch my friends play on Facebook. I'm gonna scream. Um, be, partly because I look at social media all day, every day. So I look at Facebook all day. I don't want to do that. Go over the trouble to be in the same space as them. Can't they just look at you? Um, but I also think they're that like world and community problems are going to be solved by the way people blogging and social media allows people to exchange ideas much faster and more rapidly than ever before and um i think it, the how can we figure out how to use these tools to facilitate more face-to-face -face connection and exchange of ideas both online and offline mm -hmm. um is what i get very very excited about and uh you know so i'm all for and you know happy to sponsor the meetup um because I currently work for Sea Level, then we want to get as many people connected to Sea Level as possible. So that makes it easy for me to help sponsor a meetup. But you know, I, I, and I asked in the media session earlier, like, how do we better exchange and facilitate information so that we, as citizens and as voters, can be more engaged in our local government? And I think we're just at the beginning of that. We didn't spend very much time at all talking to our, our media. Um, so here's what I, uh, so now we have uh, enough time left for you to go where you are next. Here's what's going to happen next. I'm going to put out some pieces of paper. And one of them is, I would like to be involved in um, doing stuff. And the other one is going to be, just put me on a mailing list in case you're doing, you do anything interesting that I might want to attend. So those sound like two useful lists. And, and you also know, even though it's not up here now, the Pittsburgh bloggers exist and they're trying to use the blog. There actually is a blog on it. Use the blog that's on it to talk about more of this stuff and kind of promote things. Those are my things. I'm so glad you guys came. Boy, this was really valuable to me. It was valuable to you. I'm going to take a big picture of this, and this will be like the discussion of the first open session. Thank you, guys. Anyway, great job.